this is much more normal for Kodisha's soul to do this kind of practice, to relate yes. with this kind of relationship. Yes. Baba is Baba, Gurudev. Ma'am, the books, what is there, yeah. he will explain that way, no? Yeah. But who goes Swami? So, we do, we don't understand what uh, we have to do, no? Yeah. By the mercy, when we go to the highest, then we realize it. Yes. Normally, nature of all do duty with some sneha or some sneha. Yes. Yes. Now you explain on this point, then we will go on. Mm. Uh, there is no translations. They are not fixed still, Gurudev. Why? Why? Every day is fixed. Why is it changing? <laughs> Have to change everything. That's number twenty-five. Take the right one. Wow. Yes. Translation fixed. It's very saucy. Not here yet. How are you, Rasmai? All good? good. Yes, Guru Dev, all is good. We are, I am missing to be there with you, but dreaming about that and doing my duty here. <laughs> and you? Very good. And one thing I'm also, I see that uh, if you don't understand the highest, you cannot understand all details. Yes, Guru. We always need higher level that we can be situated in lower levels. Ruchi brings us to the Nishta. So this is like you always emphasizing that we cannot understand Rupa Goswami without Raghunath. This is the beauty. We cannot uh... No. Always we will be confused. So to be fixed in the teachings of Raghunath is helping us to be fixed in Manjari Baba. Then we can understand all different Bhavas and Rasas. Yeah. This is the part. And this is why you are repeating so many times these two differences, actually, Rupa Sanatana and Rupa Raghunata. Explain again for my own revision. <laughs> I, I can try to repeat your words, Gurudev. So, 
sometimes we can see that Narottam Das Thakur and other Acharyas are praising and also uh, Raghunath. There, he is praising Rupa and Sanatana. And this behind this glorification of Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami, th behind this is an uh, important meaning, actually. Wow. And Acharyas wants to emphasize that first, we have to establish ourselves in strong Sambada. Wow. And Sanatana Goswami is helping us because he is Sambada Guru. His main teaching is to help sadhakas to first establish firmly, very firmly, Sambada relationship. Yes, Guru Dev. Relationship with Ishtanishta. Ishtanishta, very firm. Yeah. If not, then what will happen? We will start doing in material life. Yes. Because the love will grow, then we will find one lover to do it in material work. Yes. Without is not there. Mm. Yes. And everything what we are thinking that we are doing, actually, it will be from bodily concept of life. Then my bodily consciousness will start more. Yes, even increase. <laughs> Increase. Yes. Yes. Because we need a manna. Yes. To protect yourself. Again, not jumping A to B, B to C. You have to fix the Eastern Star. Yes. And for this, we have to be patient because this is not so easy, light, let's say light, think. So the patient, and we have to understand that this process is going gradually. Wow. Wow. Without jumping. And this gradual process is actually the most fast process. Wow. And then, like you said, Guru, when we establish our Ishtanishta, our fixed, firm relationship, then Rupa Ragunata Pade. Mm. That's the point. Yeah. We need mercy of Rupa Manjari, who is Abhideya Guru. Second, second stage. Second stage. Yes. Who is Abhideya Guru. And he this mercy can function because only when we are firmly established in Sambada. Wow. That we no need to search out material world. Yes. <laughs> if we have a Sambanda, we have to balance it. Then it's easy to balance, otherwise it's not easy. <laughs> only when we are fixed, yeah. only when we are fixed, we are able to balance. Otherwise, we are unbalanced and we cannot balance something which is not balanced. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My God. We need strong anchor, like a boat. Anchor mm. has to be strong. Wow. 
and by the mercy of Rupa, then we can hanker for ultimate goal, our Ishtadev, which we established before. Wow. Everything is connected and is going smoothly. And then Prayojana, Raghunath. And because of this higher stage, Prayojana, we can better understand Abhideya. How to do our devotional service, the, our Bhajana Kriya, in a practical way, with Sadakavesh and Sida body. And we can see here, like you said, when we understand the higher level, we can understand the details of the lower level. Wow. Wow. And this is the reason why we need prema. <laughs> One day, yes, in morning class, Buddha is explaining one beautiful subject. Wow. Mm. My God, he still is not going for my heart. Yes. Wow. Meditation. He's still not going. And who is teaching this? Raghunath Das Goswami. Raghunath Das Goswami. Yes. He say our Pariyojana is this, our, our efforts only that that we want to live. Can you read that line? What you teach me, he is my teacher. <laughs> my Mine God. also. Mine also goes. You see that. Uh, move your camera. You have to see him. Really, he's cutting head open more up. <laughs> yes. From thirty-two. Yes. And he he is a he is a researcher, na? I said this subject to research to you. What you teach me today. <laughs> Where you underline it. Not underline that you not I Well I'm looking, maybe I could ask a question, Baba. When I'm, I'm reading uh, Rupa Goswami these days, these, these weeks, a lot. And it seems, of course, Raghunath is, is Goswami is the disciple of Rupa Goswami, all right? And yet it seems like he's far more advanced in terms of experience. Do you agree? Do you, can you explain that? And I will not say like this, that he is more advanced, actually. But he, like a disciple, he understands the mood of the Guru in a very nice, simple way. Because he knows the heart and Guru is giving him the mercy to explain to the others. Wow. This so, is so the Rupa... Rupa Goswami is actually, he wrote many books, but this is the hints. And other Acharyas, and especially when we are speaking about Raghunath, they are going deeply in the details of these hints. And in this, is, this is the way of Parampara, actually, how to be connected. If we want to understand Rupa, then we will come to the con only Rupa, we will come to the conclusion that others are maybe more elevated. But it's not like this. They received everything from Rupa. And for our benefit, 
They just explained details of whatever Rupa Goswami just gave the hints. Otherwise, we will not understand. We will always stuck in Visham Sneha or Sama Sneha. Never reach Manjari Bhava, Radha Adi Sneha. This is the process. It, it works like that. Wow. Pranga <laughs> Sunda. My God. No, Guru. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Ra Mananda Rai is teaching to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu, right? But he is learning from Ramananda Rai. Right. Yes. <laughs> This is the beauty of exchange, loving exchange between devotees. Wow. You know one thing I want to say? Please, Guru. Kananda Prabhu is doing so beautiful in Germany, in Switzerland. You cannot believe. Wow. I cannot do what he is doing. Very nice. People is making back to everyone. They don't want to leave him. I'm mm -hmm. worried about Japan. <laughs> what will happen to them? My dear Japanese devotees, you are losing your guru because they are catching your guru <laughs> in Japan, in Europe. What will happen to you? <laughs> they have Gora Chandra Gurudev and, then, uh, and Andaka. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife is cutting in my. Yeah, yeah. So good. Here's the part. Uh, Braja, uh, Sundaram, you have to go to Brunek. He is, he is not going to Tarni. You have to go to Braja Sundar. He is go. Braja Sundar and Shamal is going. Your friend Sundaram, I'm telling, go and see him. Jaranda Maharaj. He is more important in Europe. Yeah. Similarly, Gauranga is also, the, uh, he is also going to German, Switzerland. I, I believe everybody will love him. <laughs> Nothing to love, Gurudev. There is a Mela. They are inviting you in that Mela. Yes, I am very thankful to the devotees that they are giving me this opportunity to say to serve but this is your mercy yeah. this is for my purification guru yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. This is about the relationship between the Sakis and the Manjuris. Yeah. 
And Ananda Das Babaji says in verse 32 in the commentary, one must meditate on how Tulasi renders her devotional service. And how the Sakis render their devotional service. Lalita and Vishaka, they are extraordinary maid servants who never descend from their maid servant seats. They sometimes act like Krishna's Nayikas, his lovers. Mm. But the Kinkaris do not accept that position, not even in their dreams. Yeah. Although in form and qualities, they are qualified. Little slow. In form and quality, they are qualified to be Yuta Shwaris or Gopi group leaders in all respects. So in other words, they could be perfect lovers of Krishna alone, but they are dedicated to being Mandaris and to focusing on increasing the loving relationship between Adat and Mohan rather than increasing having a relationship with, <coughs> with Krishna. Actually, in the group of Radha, the other gopis are also refusing this position of Yuteshwaris. <laughs> and they are honoring Radhika like only Yuteshwari. So this is Samasneha. And between these sakis, uh, not between the other sakis, like manjaris, like buds, they have all qualities to be Yuteshwar. But they refuse this position, even like girlfriends of Radhika. I want to say about Yuteshwar. Because Yuteshwar is the leader of the group, some specific group. And Kinkaris never wants position of Sakis, Naikas. Yeah. Although they all possess everything but in the form of buds. They're not allowed bumblebee to go on them. And actually, he knows that. And he's just trying to make jokes to approach them. But the bumblebee actually knows that they will never allow him to come inside the bud. But the flowers, very voluntary, will accept this bumblebee to enter deep inside to drink the honey nectar. Mm. This is exactly the, the next uh, paragraph. And then comes the line right at the end no, no, of... No, no, all right. Should I read it? No, he just... Yeah. Did it. No, no. Well, I just explained it so well. No. Um, they are manjari in name, manjari in nature, and manjari in form. Manjari means... Oh. Manjari in form. This is important to understand. Rupa Manjari is a bud of Radhika's form, beautiful form. 
Rati Manjari or Tulsi Manjari is a bud no. of Radhika Sarati. Madness of love for her beautiful love. Yeah. Yeah. And other Manjaris like Jiva Goswami, his Vilasa Manjari. He is the bud of Radhika's Vilas, playfulness. So every Manjari has his own nature, which is actually Radhika's nature, but in the bud form. <laughs> wow. This That's is my understanding. But not flower form. Not flower form. So, Guru, the not bud doesn't release this fragrance at all. It keeps everything inside. It doesn't release the fragrance to really mm -hmm. to attract. Wow. I did. And this Mother. is the real. Mm. And this is the reason why buds actually most <laughs> of all flowers are enjoying when this bee comes on the vine of devotion. All flowers are trembling because of his touch to the vine of devotion. But the buds are trembling the, the most. <laughs> Because their feelings are most intense. And this is why Krishna appear like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to taste this trembleness. And this is the reason why he faints and all his joints like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just... I don't know English words. And he became turtle also. Yeah. Gurudev, Gurudev yeah. It's, it's very interesting actually that, that Radhika is not relishing this kind of strong bhava, but only in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he appears. Wow. These bhavas, these um, symptoms are appearing yeah. not in Radhika when she is no, only in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu yeah. isn't it? <laughs> because he is practicing in Manjari Bhav but yes Bhav. he relish Radha Bhav also but he no feel that test what is in the Manjari Bhav yeah this is a beauty of Gauranga. <laughs> and this is his Audarya. <laughs> wow. I love it. Okay. Hmm. Explain to us, Guru Dev, please. I love it. I love it. Mane, but material, material eyes cannot see. It's not laukik, alaukik, means divine. Divine. Yes. Laukik means material, alaukik means divine. You need divine vision to feel it and see it. Yes. Material eyes cannot see that. And this is the reason why we have to be strongly connected with those who has proper vision, who has divine vision. 
they are helping us. Although our eyes are blind for divine vision, covered. I see two, two countries are very good special. One is Croatia because of you, and one is Japan because of Jananda. Two places are luckiest. After that, you don't receive is unfortunate. We are fortunate, Gurudev, to have no, you. They are has to be fortunate that you born in Croatia. And Yananda born in Japan. He is a great soul, Guru. Yes. I am the thorn okay. on the bud. But you are also bud. <laughs> thorn, thorn, Guru. <laughs> <laughs> on the bud. But yeah. also has a thorns, Guru Dev. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, you are but that is the fact. Manjari means bud. And the Manjaris no. are similarly girls of very tender youth, both in form and in nature. Wow. Buds, is what Rasamai was just saying, buds never let the bumblebee, Krishna, enjoy them. Wow. All they, although they do increase the bee's thirst for the blooming flowers that they accompany. Wow. This is their supreme purity. Wow. But, and this is the purpose of their existence. Mm. The purpose, Shri, the purpose of existence of buds is to attract bumblebee to the flowers who are already blooming, right next to them, their neighbors. Yes, mm. and this is the reason why the kinker is our seva rupaya. Wow. They are existing only because of Seva. Yeah. Purpose of existence of buds is to attract bumblebee to flower, to prepare atmosphere, everything which help bumblebee to come on the flower and to go deep in the flower. To become intoxicated, then buds are trembling <laughs> because of happiness. Just like it is our task to prepare the way for the divine meeting, too, as Manjaris in Manjari Bhav. Yes. Two things important what Brother Sundar said. Eastanita means fix the goal of Sambandha relation, real relations. We do many relations in this material body, but divine relation one. Second, fix the nature as time how in birth. Hmm. Fix as I have fixed nature that I'm a bird, hmm. not a flower. Hmm. 
I will hide my flavor in the form of bar. But it, it's hidden, but it, it's a promise, huh? it's a potential flavor of that. This is the beauty hmm. that is a hidden. Guru, there. Uh -huh. this, yeah. this flavor is more concentrated in the butt. Because it's hidden. It's hidden. When something is hidden, then it's more concentrated, mm -hmm. more thick, more condensed. But we are on the bodily concept of our life and consciousness. We always think that something which is open, that this is the essence of everything. No. Things which are hidden are the sara, are the essence, more intense. And this is why Gurudev in the beginning said actually that Visham Sneha, and Sama Sneha is more easier to practice on the bodily consciousness of life because it's visible. And Manjari Bhav is behind the scene, behind everything. But all loving exchange between Radha and Krishna ultimately depends on Manjaris, not on Sakis. And you can also say outer exchange of Radha Krishna. You cannot go more deep to realize it. Yes. 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 The personal feelings, personally, you cannot be intimate. Yes. Because this morning we can hurt, and everyone could very easily penetrate with his mind what's going on with Radha. Lalita, Vishaka, everyone can, who has some little taste. But where are the manjaris actually? In this scene, in this lila. And the goal was Krishna. And the goal was Krishna, yes. And manjari is witnessing. <laughs> is writing what's going on, not gopis. Gopis are not writing. Seva, Rupaya, is writing and helping the all other jivas to go through these holes and to see what's going on. So when we are writing, when we are reading books, we have to know the bhava of the writer. And from his angle, behind him, we have to try to understand the feelings. He is writing what's going on in Lila. But who is writing? Manjari is writing. And Manjari is giving also her bhava in this writing. Right. Viewer, but not doer. Enjoyer. <laughs> mm. 
read more? Yes, yes. Mm. I'm sorry, we, we would have much more pleasure if Rasa Maya were reading this, but I'll continue. This is their supreme purity. Sri Rupa Mantari is the bud, the Mantari, of Sri Radha's form, Rupa. Radha. You see, the same thing is nothing. And Sri Rati is the bud of Sri Radha's love, Rati. That's the end of it. Wow. Not Andy, you're not underlined, you're not read. Who no such that underline? Should I continue? No, underline, where is the underline? Read where it's underlined. Huh? You want me to? That was the underlined part. Uh, no. Yes, sir. The, 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 the manjari goes in the ocean of love. But they don't want to go to the soul. He has no interest to go to Krishna. Hmm. They are not interested to reach the soul. They are living in ocean. Hmm but not want to go to the soul. I, th I think this is what we said to each other. It was in the... If you are not on the land, then you, yourself you will not remember. What you are reading today? Uh, Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi Gurudev, 28 words, but as you want... 22, read. Which one? 22. <coughs> Vilapa? Okay. No. Rasamayi, please, do you have? Okay, we will wait. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hispanic. Hispanic swap, baby. Or also, or it is. Yes, we can start. Uh, Rosemary. Can you just wait one second because translators maybe they need to take uh, the book. Yes. Just one second, please, to give them a little time. Mm -hmm. Is it okay for all translators that we can start? Yes? All right. Thank you, Kalika. Thank you, brother. You start. You start. Yes. Uh. Just so Devi is asking 22, is not, it's 32. 32. Shirade. So we are reading Shirada Rasta Shi Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 32. When can I? Humbly and joyfully decorate your arms. 
that are like very lovely lotus stems that are expert in destroying the patients in the swan-like intelligence of Murajai Krishna with armlets studded with various jewels or render any other service to you. Swan means fungus time. Swan is only if you give to the milk and water, he only did the milk and water left. This is the nature of song. The Rasik devotees only take the essence from that. That is the nature of the Rasikas. If somebody is in the Mandiri Bhav, So his bow is so high in her nature that he not move from that. Just he will catch that is mine my subject or not. He is a bird in the mood of bird service or in the sakhi bhav a gopi bhav service is there. Where I have to stand and some place I have to watch and some place I have to be in service. They are always with Radhika Manjiris. They never leave Radhika. But they follow. Sakis to instructions when Sakis are there. The Swan Nation. And what means that Krishna has a swan like intelligence? It's now so very intelligent how to, to do with Swami. Krishna Bhakta Hoy Bodo Chatur. Krishna is very intelligent and the Bhaktas are also very intelligent. Krishna Bhakta Hoy Bodo Chatur. Means he has to be intelligent how to manage in the these circumstances, but because he is not materially conscious only, he is spiritual conscious also. He can see more divine things. Yeah. When can I humbly and joyfully decorate your arms that are like very lovely lotus stems that are expert in destroying the patients in the swan-like intelligence of Murajai Krishna with armlets studded with various jewels or can I render any other service to you? Yeah. Mm. 
Thus, the loving maid servant serves Sri Radharani. The services that are dear to the heart are externally manifest in these prayers. Sri Raghunatha Dasa Goswami is Sriman Mahaprabhu's mercy incarnation, descending along with the Lord to give the world the perfect example of bhajan. Perfect example of bhajan. Simplest. And mercy. How today Jananda is studying and with Gaura Sundara is studying, they are talking only in mercy how Everything is much. Even my material body is also much. What circumstances happening is also much. And we have to feel in live in mercy. Of my song. That how much he is giving mercy and like a mother, like a, everything she is to give to me in my sight. The day we will start living in the mercy, there is no problem. Problem only comes when we not feel that much. He and the other Goswamis are Vraja's eternally perfect Manjaris who have descended to earth as Mahaprabhu's beloved associates to teach the world the ways of Bhajan. Shrima and Mahaprabhu gave them that responsibility and there is no other shelter than their lotus feet. One must meditate on how Tulasi renders her devotional service. Mm -hmm. They mm, they are extraordinary maid servants who never descend from their maid servant seat. Wow, this is the first part, first thing to do. Never leave the position of maidservants in any circumstances. It's good changing. Then, 
not being able to do that. Yeah. What is the beauty? We change. And Jayananda Maharaj or Gaura Sundara, Gauranga Sundara is not changing. We are changing. So that way, they receive more mercy than us. This is our situation, and that to us. To a uh, first to achieve it, not leave your position. Even in the day to day material life, not leave your position. Even material practice, you leave your position, you are gone. You cannot do that. Uh, material life and spiritual life is two things. I do this and only when I am talking, after that how I can do what I like. No. Done, done. Twenty-four-seven service. Don't leave your position. How I will manage practice, you can manage. Try it, then you will manage. That feeling become condensed this way. You give full time to make condense your feeling. Go on. One must meditate on how Tulasi renders her devotional service. They are extraordinary mate servants who never descend from their maid servant seats. Lalita and Vishaka sometimes act as Krishna's naikas, heroines or amorous partners. But the kinkaris do not accept that position even in their dreams. Although in form and qualities, they are qualified to be Yudhishwaris, Gopi group leaders in all respects. Radhe, so now the question is, we were talking about the forms of buds. But we should also know the nature of buds. Because Baba is written here the qualities of the buds. Inside qualities. And this is shortly to say at the essence of all qualities, Radha Sneha. They are completely focused, loyal, with all their hearts, minds, intelligence, activities, emotions to Radhika. Yeah. 
their love is a quality. Their love is not deviating anywhere. Their loyalty automatically doesn't deviate anywhere, jumping anywhere. And because of that, Radhika has, Radhika has full trust in them. Without shame, without hesitation, because of their beautiful, loving qualities, full of all emotions which Radhika infused in them. So when someone has the qualities, actually it means that he is full of pure emotions. Pure emotions gives the qualities. Pure love gives qualities. Without love there is no qualities, even from outside. So this, this kind of purity of Manjaris is extraordinary purity. Because ultimately the Sakis behind their hearts and mind, they have some intention to be alone with Krishna. But the purity of Manjaris are extraordinary, perfect. And they never, like it's written and Gurudev is saying so much, they never dream even about that. But Sakis are dreaming. I'm sorry, but they are dreaming. <laughs> because they are, they are lovers and this is their Svabhava. Stable. Nature. Nature, yes. This is their nature. And they are dreaming about their lover. Although they are very good friends with Radhika. But in the dreams, they are free to dream whatever they like. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams are crazy things. Everything what is in heart is coming <laughs> and mind in dreams. <laughs> but Manjar is they even in a dreams. So we should watch our dreams. <laughs> So this is the inner qualities of Manjaris. And they can infuse the sadhakas with these inner qualities if sadhaka open the heart. We should open the heart like a flower for infusion of Manjari Baba, not for the Krishna. <laughs> that Manjari Baba comes yeah. deep, directly in our flower heart. And Manjari Bhava means Radha Adisnih and Seva Rupaya, embodiment of service and full love only Ekanta, one point to Radhika. So we should learn to feel like a Manjaris, to think like a Manjaris, and to serve, act like a manjaris. And live in the form of the manjaris. And live in the form of the manjaris. Yes. Even in Sadaka Vesh Guru. <laughs> yeah. so, and this is not easy. It's not light. Lagu. It's not easy. This is Bajar. 
This is bhajan. Yes. And this is sadhana. This is what you say in English. You have to be in this practice to increase this. External, not inside. Nobody will understand this, but you have to change your behavior, and you have to change yourself. That is the beauty. Outside change, others will see. Inside change, who will know? Only you know what you change. And you stay there. And sadhus. <laughs> they are experts. Yeah. E each line. Who's only check this? When you go to see sadhu, if the sadhana is not there, they understand. Sitting and if they will understand. What is doing sadhu? Actually, everything is visible in our eyes, in our face, in our behavior, in our words, yeah. in our movements. Everything, everything for experts, sensitive Rasik devotees visible. And it's very clear. So we cannot play the games with the pure devotees. Each line on these manjari's toes defeats the bright splendor of the lightning. They are cleverness personified. And although they are qualified to be Yuteshwaris, they have no taste for this at all. They are always immersed in the nectar ocean of Shiradika's service. In dreams, wakefulness, or deep sleep, the light of Shiradika's shimmering toenails shines in the Kinkari's heart. Srila Dasa Goswami said, I offer my obeisances unto your friendship. I only desire your devotional service. They are Manjari in name. Manjari in nature 
and manjari in form. Manjari means bud and the manjaris are similarly girls of very tender youth both in form and in nature. Buds never allow the bumblebee to enjoy them. Although they do increase the bee's thirst for the blooming flowers that they accompany. This is their supreme purity. Shirupa Manjari is the bud Manjari of Shiradika's form Rupa and Shirati is the bud of Shiradika's passionate love. The mic is muted. Press the mic. Can you hear me? No. From where? Um, the bud. 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 Shirupa Manjari is the bud of Radhika's form. And Shirati is the bud of Shiradika's love. Radhe, we can see here how Rati Manjari is the embodiment of Radhika's Rati. So we need Rati to attain Rupa. It is written, Rupa Manjari is bud of Radhika's form, but we cannot see the form without love. So this is the proof how much first love and then experience of the form, Nama, Rup, Guna and Lila. And this is the proof that first we have to understand and got the mercy of Raghunat Das Goswami, who is Rati, bud of Radhika's love, passionate love. And then he can, we can understand Rupa Manjari, who is the bud of Radhika's form, Rup. In this senses, it, sentence, it's written the process, which Gurudev many times is emphasized. Rupa Sanatana, then Rupa Ragunata. Without Rati, there is no Stai Bhav. And without Rati and Stai Bhav, there is no relishing rasa. And with this strong emotion, which is only a result of the Kripa, this cannot be attained with, with any sadhana, with any effort. This is manifestation of full Radha Shakti, Hladini Shakti in the heart of Sadaka. 
when Rati appears, then Rupa of beloved Ishtadev is starting to appear and also Sva Rupa. Spiritual identity of devotee becomes crystally clear. First Rati, then Rupa. Intense love, then form of Ishtadev will mercifully start to appear. And first Rati, and then crystally clear will be manifestation of Sva Rupa of devotee. Right. Purudev, Ananga also means like a form, right? Ananga is happiness. Ananga. Ananga is the, Ananga means when they become two one, that is Ananga. One. To become one is Ananga. Ananga, da. To become one. Go on. Long, then it will not complete. Tulasi serves Swamini with Prasanga Seva, making her relish her own sweetness while putting her armlets on. Tulasi says, Do you know what your arms are like? Swamini, No, tell me. Tulasi, He who understands it has made me understand. Mohana, is a good follower of yours. His swan-like mind was enchanted by the sweetness of your golden lotus stem-like arms. And it destroyed his patience. Swans are naturally, naturally fond of eating sweet lotus stems by the shores of the lakes. Sometimes, when you are proud and angry with him, Krishna will beg you for a festival of embraces. But you will wave your arms and say, no, no. You think I did not understand that? Even the patience of the victor of the Mura demon will be destroyed by the beauty of your arms. And he will anxiously pray, 
My heart is breaking. Give me some happiness. In this way, Tulasi maddens Swamini by reminding her of her lover with her prasanga service. How wonderfully the truth hums through this Rasika verse. The beauty of your arms destroys the patience of Murajai's Krishna's swan-like intelligence. The word mati in the text means that intelligence which determines the truth. Only the beautiful arms of Srimati can destroy that great intelligence of that great hero who destroyed the demon Mura. That shows how great Srimati's love for him is, for it is her love that makes her so beautiful. Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila 4 Krishna says, I am the abode of transcendental flavors. I am the fully ecstatic, full transcendental truth. But Radhika's love is making me mad. I don't know how much power there is in Radhika's love. That it always overwhelms me. Radhika's love is the Guru and I am the dancing disciple. She always makes me dance, various dances. Sri Krishna considers to himself, I am the shelter of all transcendental bliss and flavor. And when my devotees taste even a drop of this bliss and relish, they are able to give up all other attachments and they become totally mad. It is absolutely impossible to madden me. Secondly, I am the embodiment of full transcendental bliss. The whole world becomes mad from even a single drop of the ocean of my bliss. It is therefore impossible for anyone to make me happy. Thirdly, I am the full transcendental truth. 
the blissful experience of Krishna consciousness fulfills the desires of the whole world. No one is able to cover over my knowledge and drive me mad. But Shiradika's love is making the impossible possible. Not only she can madden me, her love is my guru who makes me dance various dances like a dancing pupil. Sri Vishnavat Chakravarti writes the following commentary on this. Shiradika's love makes me dance various dances. This means that although I am all powerful, the power of Radhika's love makes me hide in a corner of her courtyard out of fear of her mother-in-law, Jatila. Although I am the embodiment of bliss, I sometimes look down the road for Radhika to come, being overwhelmed by desires for her blissful company. Although I am the embodiment of truth, I sometimes may disguise myself for the sake of meeting her. And although I am the eternal embodiment of knowledge, I sometimes embrace a vine, mistaking it to be her. All these things I do because of her great love for me. Addressing the armlet, Tulasi says, O Angada, Surely, you will take care that the matchless body of the one who wears you will be given to someone. Anga means body and da means giver. Thus, Giver of the body. I have put this Angada called Hari Rangada, the lighter of Hari, on your arms. And if I don't then the derivate meaning of the word Angada, giver of the body, will be reversed and mean he who serves the body. Through this interpretation, your fault will be publicly announced. Tulasi tells Swamini, I have placed 
the hari rangada angada on your arm yeah explain no worries i try to explain gurudev and repeat your explanations <clears throat> actually this word angada this armlet which manjari is very expertly putting on radhika's arm is very important ornament because this ornament helps krishna to pull to catch this armlet and to bring radhika closer to him and this is why this angada is important like ornament but it's also showing the deep meanings of manjari seva why manjari is putting it and how manjari is very cleverly is calling this ornament angada to hide actually to hide radhika's desire to give herself to her lover this is the play of words and manjar is very cleverly using these words because krishna when he, when he sees radhika he is losing all his patient he is losing all his swan like intelligence and sketching her with this for this angada and bring he bring radhika bring her in nivriti kunja or in his embrace so everything seva ornaments is in using to give yoga lucky sure the pleasure go on Tulasi tells to Swamini I have placed the Hari Rangada Angada on your arm dance once with Mohana while waving your arms and singing sweetly your maid servant will be so fortunate to see you mohana will be a good dohara for you Dohara is a member of the choir who repeats the pradhana the leader that day you will place your lovely arms on his shoulders and embrace him your arms will be studded with goose pimples when you embrace each other 
you will have given it to him exactly the way he wanted it. Your arm will be attended to by Mohana's shoulder. Hence, I call this Angada Hari Rangada. How much wonderful happiness will that give to Mohana? Radhe Radhe Gurudev. It's very nicely written here. Angada Hari Rangada. Yeah. Anga Da. Radhika wants to give Anga her beautiful body to give Da to Hari Rangada for his pleasure. Because it delights him. And this is the purpose of Manjari said. To help Swamini. For Anga Da, for Hari Ranga Da. Wow. Very deep. Tulasi intoxicates Swamini by reminding her of all these bygone pastimes. When Tulasi said all this, Swamini said, all right, put them on then. Srilida Shuka has said, O oh Lord, the Gopikas know the sweetness of your restless glances, your luscious words, your grave yet playful, beautiful gait, your tight embrace, and your eager and frantic smile. The gopis are experienced. Therefore, the practicing devotees should accept the mood of the gopis. The maid servants of Radha understand everything. But someone who is in mundane consciousness cannot understand. Therefore, Shinarotamadas Thakur prays Sakira Sangi Hoya Tahe Hobobhora. I will become absorbed in this as a female companion of the Sakis. We must follow in the footsteps of Rupa and Tulasi Manjari. When the transcendental vision thus vanishes, Shiragunata loudly laments and prays for devotional service with topmost eagerness. When will I put 
jeweled armlets on your arms or adore you with other ornaments. Your arms are like beautiful lotus stems and when Krishna's swan-like mind sees them, he will never stay calm. O oh, tender girl, when can I blissfully and humbly decorate these arms with nicely shaped golden jeweled studded armlets or O oh Devi if you want any other dress then just order me and I will click quickly adorn you with that thus finishes the verse 32 Yeah. And what was that? What you are reading to me? It was Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, verse 28, but uh, next Saturday, Guru Day, we can leave it. It's, it's all right. It's enough. <laughs> maybe it's not 32, maybe 31, not 33. I don't know. If you, whatever you like, Gurudev. No, I I think Gurudev, I might be wrong. It came out of the discussion you and I had. Right. This idea of ocean. It wasn't in the text. So for the next Saturday, thirty-one or. Ah, uh, that was right here. Twenty-eight. Ah, twenty. Rather, twenty-eight. Okay. Uh, this is. I can just read you what it's about. If you like it, if you don't. Oh, saintly mind, quickly take shelter of oh, sweet nature, Radha, who is like a grove full of wish-yielding vines. Yeah, but, uh, who reveals a wonderful abundance of powerful Rasika compassion and who is a deep nectar ocean of love. Yeah. Right. Okay, Rasame next time. <laughs> Radhe Radhe Gurudev, thank you very much Radhe. for everything. Udavaji, thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank you.